Hello, my friends. Welcome back. This is our last in the series of parables of Jesus. Those stories that teach us lessons. I'm Pastor Mark of Clinton Avenue Reformed Church, Bergenfield, New Jersey. I'm glad you're watching this. And I hope you've asked your friends to watch these also. Today, we are going to talk about the story of Lazarus and the rich man. Hey, I bet you dream of being rich someday, don't you? Don't you really want to be rich? I don't think it would be a bad thing to have a lot of money. What would you do if you were rich? I know what I would do. I might upgrade my computer. Well, you know, most of my money, I'd give to a lot of missions. There's a mission in Nicaragua called House of Hope. I'd love to be able to give them a lot of money. They rescue women from bad situations and help them establish their own little businesses so they can have a better life. There is a mission in Hackensack, New Jersey called the River Ministry. That ministry brings people in off the street, gives them fine dinners, and has them do a worship service. They also give out clothes to people who really don't have enough clothes. And in wintertime, that's especially important. I know there's another mission in Staten Island that's run by a Reformed church there. I would love to be able to give them a lot of money so they have a lot more food to give to hungry people. You know, there's a church camp just in New York State that can use some money. I'd love to give them a lot of money. And probably to my college and to my seminary. I'd like to bless them. Someday, if God makes me rich, that is what I'm going to do. What would you do with all your money if you got rich? Would you just have one big party and forget people who really need it? Jesus told a story about Lazarus and the rich man. He said there was a man who had a ton of money. He ate well. He dressed well. He had this huge house. Right outside his door was a man like this on the screen. He had very, very little food. He even had sores on his body, like open sores and cuts. And night dogs would come by and lick his sores. And the rich man inside that wonderful house, eating like a king, he never even noticed the poor man right outside his gate. When he left during the day and opened his gates, and he went with all his servants different places, he never once noticed them. That's pretty sad. I hope you would never use money like that if you got rich. I hope you would never overlook those people who are really in need. I hope you'd see those folks and help them out. Well, the story continues that the rich man died. And Lazarus, this poor man, died also. Now, the poor man, Lazarus, he went right to heaven. And he was comforted there by Father Abraham. That was one of God's great heroes. And he began to really get comforted and cared for and taken care of. Now, the rich man, well, he went to hell. And his thirst was horrible. And there were constant heat constant fires 
And in the distance, he could see Lazarus with Father Abraham. He said, Father Abraham, I'm thirsty. Send Lazarus over here with some water so I can have a drink and quench my parched lips. What do you think Father Abraham said? Father Abraham said, you know, when you were alive, you had it all. You had wealth, you had food, you had a house. You never worried about Lazarus. Lazarus had nothing when he was alive. So now he's going to get everything. And you, because you had all these things and didn't share, well, you got nothing now. And the rich man said, oh, boy, okay, tell you what. My brothers who are still alive, they're going to share the same fate as me. Can you send, maybe send Lazarus back to give him a warning or let me go back to give him a warning? And Father Abraham said, they know what God said in the law. They know what God's prophet said. If they don't listen to them, they're not going to listen to anyone. No, it's too late now. Wow, that's scary, don't you think? That it can be too late to do good things for those who have less. We're always looking at second chances and chances again, and that's good. I'm glad we get second chances to improve things. But when we die, well, chances are over. How we've lived this life will determine what happens to us after this life. If you get rich, are you going to remember the poor? Are you going to even look at those people in need? Or are you going to be just so happy with your life you don't see anyone else? I hope not. Well, you know, you don't have to be rich to take care of someone. I know a lady. She doesn't have much money. Every week, she gives $5. Doesn't seem like much. Every week, she gives $5 to help the poor. She's grateful for what she has. She wants to help someone else. You know, if you do that every week, $5, that's not a lot of money. You would be giving $250 a year to feed people who have no food. We have a lot of money by the world standards. Sometimes you don't think it, the bills are hard to pay, but our lives are pretty privileged compared to how many people live in the world. Do you notice those people? Do you see those people? What are you doing to help those people? Someday we will die. And those who we did not help in this world will be getting great comfort. And those of us who are greedy will not have such good circumstances. That is the parable of Lazarus and the rich man. I hope we learn from it. If God makes us wealthy, let us be generous with those who have less. And until God makes us wealthy, well, let us still be generous with those who have less. This is Pastor Mark from Clinton Avenue Reformed Church. This is our final parable, our final story for the summer. Next week, we're going to start a whole new series. Topics that people have requested you know what the first one is for next week? Why does God 
love me. If you're wondering why God loves you, well, definitely. Come and listen to this parable. Come and listen to that story next week. And maybe you'll learn something. And please, have a safe week. Have a blessed and happy week. And make sure you like, comment, and share so that other people may see this. God bless you all. From your friends at Clinton Avenue Reformed Church, Bergenfield, New Jersey.